Good morning, grade 7 students. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome back to another English lesson. Today, we are working on the lesson 7D, Listen to plus Speak. As always, let's start our lesson by going through the objectives that we will be working on today. For today's lesson, there are two objectives. So by the end of this video, you will be able to first locate specific information after listening to three short dialogues, and second, you will be able to role play a dialogue between a shop assistant and a customer. So get your student book and open it to page 95. Once we are done with the listening task and start working on the speaking task, please make sure that you turn to page 113 and page 114. Are you ready? Let's start. Previously, you learned and identified different items of clothing, dear students. So for example, this is a skirt. This is a tracksuit. This is a top. And these are leggings. Make sure you watch the video 7D Vocabulary Plus Listen 1, as these vocabulary words are important to today's lesson. Now, riddles time. See if you can solve these riddles. Here's a hint for you. All the answers are related to items of clothing. Let's start with the first riddle. You wear these on your hands and they always come in pairs. Do you know the answer? Bravo, gloves. Next, this item is long and covers each leg. Good job, trousers. Riddle number three. The answer to this riddle is pretty simple. It's jewelry that women wear on their ears. Can you guess the answer? That's right, earrings. One last riddle. People wear this item on the upper part of their body so they don't get cold. Do you know the answer? Amazing, a jumper. Let's start our lesson with a short discussion. Question number one, how often do you go shopping, dear students? Do you go shopping once a month, twice a month? Or every week. Next, what do you usually buy when you go shopping? And finally, do you prefer department stores or smaller shops? A department store is a big store that sells different items in different departments. When I use the word department here, I simply mean different areas of the store. For example, famous department stores that I am sure you heard of are Harrods and the Blue Salon. Now pause the video and think of the answers to these questions. Welcome back! Now please log in your Teams account and share your answers with your classmates and teacher. Now before we start our listening task, let's read some tips that will help you excel in listening tasks, dear students. Before you listen, look at the pictures and read the questions and answers carefully. Make sure you haven't got any unknown words. This will make the listening task very easy. Before you listen, try to predict what the speakers are going to talk about. You can do this by reading the questions and the answers. Before you listen, try to predict what kind of information is missing. While listening, try to understand the general idea, not every single word. Finally, while listening, don't assume that an answer is correct just because the speakers mention a word that is in the activity. Listen carefully before you answer. Let's start the listening task. In your student book, page 95, look at the four pictures and try to describe them. Don't forget, dear students, that when we describe a picture, we use the present progressive. For example, in picture A, a woman is buying or asking about shoes. Now pause the video, write down the answers in your notebook, and come back when you are done. Are you done? That's great. What do you see in picture B? That's right, a man is asking about trousers. Next, what about picture C? Very good, a woman is paying for a hat and earrings. 
finally, picture D. Mm -hmm. That's correct. A man is trying on some clothes. So where are these people? Perfect. They are in a department store. This is because it's the same store, but it has different departments. Well, how did I know this? It's because the people who work in the store in all the four pictures wear the same uniform. Now let's listen to the instructions and work on the listening task. Five, listen to. A, listen to three short dialogues and match the dialogues one to three to the pairs of people A to D in the pictures. There is one extra pair of people. Then check your answers with a partner. Dialogue 1 Excuse me, I'd like to try on that black pair of boots, please. What size do you wear? 8 Um, sorry, we've got one last black pair, but there are 7. Oh, I see. Have you got them in another colour? Yes, I've got them in brown and grey in your size. Can I try on the grey ones, please? OK, I'll just go and get them. Dialogue 2 Does the shirt fit you? Not really. Have you got a bigger size? Was that a medium? Um, yes. Uh, excuse me? Can I try it on in blue too? Sure. I'll get you a white one and a blue one in a large. Thanks. Dialogue 3 Would you like to pay in cash or by credit card? In cash, please. That's £17 altogether. Really? I thought the earrings cost £24. They're half price. They're £12 and the hat is £5. <laughs> That's great. Here's £20. And here's £3 change and your receipt. Thank you. Thanks. All right. What's the best picture for dialogue one? You are correct. It's picture A since the two women are talking about shoes. Next. What about dialogue two? Mm -hmm. Yes, picture D. This is because the man is trying on some clothes. Finally, dialogue three. The woman is paying for a hat and earrings, so if your answer is picture C, then you are correct. Next, for exercise B, please pause the video and read all the questions and the possible answers before we start this listening task. All right, let's start. B. Listen again and answer the questions. Choose A, B, C or D. Then check your answers with a partner. Dialogue 1. Excuse me. I'd like to try on that black pair of boots, please. What size do you wear? Eight. Um, sorry, we've got one last black pair, but there are seven. Oh, I see. Have you got them in another colour? Yes, I've got them in brown and grey in your size. Can I try on the grey ones, please? OK, I'll just go and get them. Dialogue 2 Does the shirt fit you? Not really. Have you got a bigger size? Was that a medium? Um, yes. Uh, excuse me? Can I try it on in blue too? Sure. I'll get you a white one and a blue one in a large. Thanks. Dialogue 3 Would you like to pay in cash or by credit card? In cash, please. That's £17 altogether. 
Really? I thought the earrings cost £24. They're half price. They're £12 and the hat is £5. <laughs> That's great. Here's £20. And here's £3 change and your receipt. Thank you. Thanks. What is the woman going to try on? Is it A, grey boots in a size 7, B, black boots in a size 8, C, grey boots in a size 8, or D, brown boots in a size 8? When the customer wanted to try on black boots, the shop assistant, the person who works there, asked her about her size. When the customer said 8, the shop assistant tells her they only have size 7 for the black pair. That's when the customer said, can I try on the grey ones please? And the shop assistant answered, okay, I'll just go and get them. So the answer here is of course, C, grey boots in a size 8. Next, what has the man already tried on? Is it A, a white shirt in a medium size, B, a blue shirt in a medium size, C, a white shirt in a large size, or D, a blue shirt in a large size? When the shop assistant asked the customer, does the shirt fit you, the customer replied, not really, have you got a bigger size? The shop assistant then asked, was that a medium? The customer responded, yes, and he also wanted to try it in blue too. This means that the man has already tried on a white shirt in a medium size. Finally, how much does the woman pay for the earrings? Is it A, £5, B, £12, C, £17, or D, £24? When the shop assistant told the customer that she needs to pay £17, the customer was surprised because she thought the earrings cost £24. The shop assistant told her that they are half price and that they are £12. That's why the correct answer here is B, £12. Good job, dear students. We have achieved the first objective. We located specific information after listening to three short dialogues. Now let's move on to the speaking activity. Here's a list of tips that will help you become a better speaker. So, how to do better when doing speaking tasks. Before you speak, make sure you understand the task and how you should use the prompts. Look at the example giving. This will help you when you start working on the task. Use the prompts giving. Use the vocabulary and the language you have learned. Don't be afraid to make mistakes when you speak. This is very normal and mistakes help you learn. And finally, speak only in English. Let's discuss the topic of today's speaking task. What kind of phrases would you use as a customer who wants to buy anything in a shop? You could say, I'm looking for black boots or I'm looking for a red jumper, for example. This is used to ask whether the item you want is available in the store or not. If you want to know if the item fits or looks good on you, you ask, can I try it or them on? If you want to know about the price, you ask, how much does it or do they cost? Now imagine you are a shop assistant who works in a shop. When you approach a customer to offer help, what do you say? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. You ask, can I or may I help you? To bring the right size of the item to the customer, you ask, what size do you wear? When you give an item to the customer, you say, here you are. When the customer wants to pay, you ask, would you like to pay in cash or by credit card? For the speaking task, you need a partner to role play a conversation between a customer and a shop assistant. You can always practice speaking with your sister, brother, or your parents. Now you need to open your student book page 113 and 114. Each page has a certain role. If you choose the role of student A in page 113, then imagine that you are a customer in a department store. Decide which items you want to buy and in what color from the items that you see 
in your book or on the screen. Student B, your partner, is the shop assistant. Talk to him or her using the phrases in the box. Okay? If you choose the role of student B, then imagine you are a shop assistant in a department store. Student A, who is your partner, is a customer. Look at the items below and talk to him or her using some of the phrases in the box. Since you are the shop assistant in a department store, you have the available sizes, the available colors for each item, their prices, whether they have a discount or not. And this will help you discuss the item with your partner who is the customer. Look at the following example before you try working on this task. So here is the shop assistant and here is the customer. Excuse me, I'd like to try on these sandals. Which ones? The black ones. What size do you wear? I wear a size 8. Okay, here you are. Do they fit you? I think they fit me very well. How much are they? They cost 36 pounds. Great, I'll take them. Would you like to pay in cash or by credit card? In cash, please. Okay, here's your receipt. Thank you. Now it's your turn to practice speaking. Pause the video, work on the speaking task with your partner and come back when you are done. Excellent, dear students. We have achieved the second objective. We role-played a dialogue between a shop assistant and a customer. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and stay safe, everyone.